I needed to leave my job. I was looking for another job, um, researching just jobs all over the place on Indeed, filling out, you know, forms and, oh, this is a good fit. This is a good fit. And companies not even getting back to you. Or when they do get back to you, the pay is like ridiculously low. Um, so finally I'm on LinkedIn one day and it looks like, uh, you know, uh, I don't remember what it said. Maybe, maybe something like, Hey, if you're interested in, 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 in owning your own business or your franchise, I don't know what it was, but, uh, it led me to reaching out to you, um, and giving you a call. So yeah, I was looking for, um, another job, you know, and been looking for quite some time and, um, I don't know if you know, but it's it's very stressful trying to find um, a job, especially when you have a, a family. Um, you know, I, if it was just me by myself, you can just get up and go, try something else. And if that doesn't work, move on to the next one. But when you have a family, it's it's hard to do. You know, you just you need that income. So it, it's hard to just go find find yourself, you know, basically at, at another job. You didn't quit your job and you weren't fired from your job. Okay. You were just, you, I mean, you had worked there for a long time. Yeah. And, um, you know, you were just ready for something new. Right. And, you know, what were you expecting after our first call or two? What were you expecting out of your car buying advocate? I want you to be honest. Yeah. I mean, I mean, and, and just, just, uh, touch on what you just previously said. No, I didn't, I didn't get fired from my job. Um, I didn't quit. I was there 25 years. I loved what I do. Um, uh, I love what I did, um, helping people, you know, this business is, is no different than me helping a friend or a family member. Um, yeah, I mean, and, and, you know, my father, you know, was in the car business for many years and, uh, always helped people. And, um, I guess maybe I get it, get it from him. Um, my mother helped people too, but, um, it's just, it's just what I do. I enjoy and love helping people. We'll, we'll get a lead. We'll talk to the lead, have the strategy call, you know, tell them what we do and, you know, they can be pretty much take, take it or leave it. They have to put their trust in, in, uh, in us, you know, in me on that strategy call. But, um, expectation wise, I, I was, to me, it was a no brainer. I'm in mean, this, this way because I get to, you know, continue to help people. Mm -hmm. um, when I met you and spoke with you, you weren't looking for an employee. Right. Uh, you wanted a franchise owner because they would take this business. This is your baby. You know, mm -hmm. they would take it more seriously, right, than an employee. Um, and sometimes I tell that to my 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 leads that you know on the strategy call. Hey, listen, I'm. This is this is my my business. This is my livelihood. This is what puts food on the table. Um, I'm not an employee. Who can just get up and go and quit and not care? You know, I'm an owner. You know, your Google review will reflect me, not not the whole. You know, it'll reflect your reflect uh, uh, your car buying advocate. But it's just you know, I, I trying to get a good Google review because it affects me directly. So um, it was uh, it was it was scary, right? You know, uh, uh, get a paycheck every two weeks for the last twenty five years. You know, benefits four hundred one k. Um, but at the same time, that stress level, um, you know, f working for a, a corporation, being told when to take a break, when to take lunch, it was time. So coming here, being my own owner, sending my own hours, you know, coming and going as I please, um, it just, it just fit. It fit what I currently need, which is to spend more time with my family. My, my kids are in sports, so I can go to their events and still work. You know, I can watch a practice and still work. I can go wherever I want and still work. You know, there's nobody saying, hey, you can't go here. You can't go there. Um, so that was uh, exciting. Um, so, but yeah, it was definitely scary. Um, but now that I've been doing it for, for some time now, um, it's, it's going great. And it's exactly what I needed um, at this point in my life. Uh, one of the things that I thought was funny um, with you, okay, and a lot of people have done, you know, said the same things to me, okay, like a lot of the comments that, you know, just that we've had over the last, well, now coming up almost on a year, right? Um, you said, you know, you've said before, Mike, why would you want 
Do you remember when you said, why would you want one of the, you know, in our first trainings, he goes, Mike, why do you want to teach them everything and tell them exactly how to do it? They're not going to hire you. Do you remember you? you know, yeah, I knew what you were going to say. <laughs> yeah, I knew, you, I, knew you, I knew where you were going. I think now that you've been doing it for this period of time and you've had some of these strategy calls, and I'm sure there are some strategy calls that you've had with customers that you've decided, hey, listen, I don't think this customer is going to be a good fit. I don't even want to take them on. I don't think, you know, for whatever reason, maybe it's we don't bring, you know, we don't bring you know, the value that they're expecting from us, right? Do you remember what I said to you when you asked, why would you teach them? We're not building rockets here. Once you know step-by-step the process to do it, okay? No, we're not building rockets, okay? But if you follow the process, that process takes what? A lot of time. And a lot of phone calls and headaches, right? If you want to do it on on your own and you have the time to do it on your own, right? What do, what do we always tell our customers? Do it on your own. His clients are going to tell you the value that he brings. If your question is, how much money does your car buying advocate save you? Okay. Like the only way to come up with that number is for the customer to go out and do it. And then you go out and you do it on your own, Derek, right? And then you compare, doesn't that defeat the whole purpose of our service? Correct. When I was talking about uh, value, right? Like we turn down customers because we don't think we're bringing the right amount of value. We can pick and choose who it is that we want to work with. There's plenty of people out there. Okay. And this is nothing like, I'm not like being controversial or talking bad about any of our clients because we love our clients. Right? I always say to the clients, like, you know, I appreciate your business. Okay. But I don't need it. On that strategy call, Derek, we it's not even really a sales call. We are good at what we do, right? We're going to take the time and the stress out of the car buying process. Do you want to hire us? We have a very specific clientele that we work with. And, you know, we want to make sure that we're bringing the right value to the consumer. If you want to see if we bring value or not, I mean, just read Derek's reviews. We really do start, you know, filtering out the noise in the car buying process.